with that particular song is that there's, it's actually in three, four. So the rhythm goes one and two, and then two, one and two, three, and a one, and one and two, three, and a one, and one and two, three, and a one. So what I did is I, I, I uh, originally, the melody, the whole thing is in four, four, and, uh, and I wrote it in three, four, just to preserve that rhythm. And then throughout the uh, actual B section, what I did is I, I put a bar of seven, eight, I put some different kinds of twists on it. that I think I've played since, uh, since I can remember high school, and my teacher taught me this rhythm. So basically, it's 5-8 or 5-16, and what I'm doing is playing, um, phrasing it 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, 1-2, 3, 1-2, And then the sticking I use is going to be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, So what I'll do is I'll play it 16 notes, one, two, when people play it, they, they amend it. So you heard in that, that uh, second tune I played was an Indian tune that I wrote, Indian Fusion, that the bass player and I were, were interacting, doing those rhythms, you're hearing a lot of the one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three.
going to split the room in half. So from this gentleman on, it's going to be uh, the right side. From this gentleman on, the left side. So I want, um, over here, I want you guys to play five. So let's try that. One. yourself, make a determination that you're going to do something, and practice every day. Practice a little bit every day. It doesn't have to be hours and hours, but a little bit. And try to try to make yourself, make it, take it very seriously when you do things. And, and what happens is that when you go in and you actually perform, the people are going to notice. If you do not prepare for things, they're not going to hire you. They're, not, they're going to notice it. So when you go the extra mile, what happens is that you're going to get the gig. Things are going to happen. It's a really good feeling of accomplishment. The other thing I want to talk about is when you practice, try to, try to think of, of things that you do from your teacher. Try to work on things that are hard for you. So just like I was doing things I can't do, so obviously I'm pushing myself. So when you guys work on things that you, you can't do, you're going to get better. Because probably over the course of some time, you're going to feel like, wow, I couldn't do this thing before. Now I'm starting to do it. But if you do not challenge yourself, you will not get better. If you don't get better, you don't really want to play anymore. So I want to tell everybody, practice, 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 practice. Practice with the metronome. Practice all the time. Have fun. Get in bands. Play live. Do everything you can. And the more that you do that, the better you're going to get, the better you're going to have, the, the, the more fun you're going to have playing the instrument. Because, you know, I love this instrument so much. I'm addicted to it. I, I still practice every day. And I've been doing that for like 32 years or something. So anyway, thank you very much, and I'm going to wrap up with this solo, I'm going to give some stuff away. <laughs>